Okay, so you want to join tables together in Microsoft Excel. Two possible things that you'd want to do. You either want to append data or merge data. So I'll give you an example of both. Appending data is where you want to stack rows on top of each other from different tables. For example, I've got three statements here. And what I want to do is combine all the statements in one table. So that's appending data. The other example is where you want to merge data. Now this is where you want to combine columns from different related tables. So for example, here I've got three tables. I've got a transaction table, a product table, and a sales rep table. And these are all related tables. So I want to get all the columns from these three tables combined into one table. So appending is where you're stacking rows on top of each other, and merging is where you're combining all the columns from different tables together. Let's start off with appending. Now, the first thing you want to do is house your data within Excel tables. First step is to select the data. Now, with my data, I've got blank rows and columns, which is fine, but that does mean I need to manually select the data. If you don't have blank rows and columns in your data, you can just click in a cell with data in it, and that will suffice. But for me, I need to select all of the data. And then I'm going to go to the Insert tab on my ribbon and click on Table. Now, you need to be mindful of this setting here, My Table Has Headers. If your column headings are in the first row of your data, then you need to make sure this is ticked. For my data, that's not the case. The column headings are actually in row four. So I need to leave that unticked. So I'll click on OK. And then on this table design tab, I'd give the table a name. So I'm just going to call this July because it's the July statement. Press enter to confirm. So I need to do the same thing for the other tables. I select the data. There is a shortcut key for insert table. It's control T. And then click on OK. Give the table a name. And I'll do the same for September. Now, once the data is in tables, what you do is you go to the data tab on your ribbon, you go to get data from other sources, blank query. In the formula bar, you type the following formula equals Excel dot current workbook. And you need an open and close bracket, press enter, and that'll list all of the worksheets in your workbook. Next, you just click on this little expand button here, click on OK, and that will append all of the data into one table. Now that may be enough for your particular data, but for mine, there are some transformations I need to make. For example, I have this additional information at the top of each statement, which I need to get rid of. You can see that repeats for each statement. I also need to get rid of these blank columns. Now to get rid of the first three rows at the top of the statement, go to Remove Rows, Remove Top Rows, and then I type in the number of rows I want to delete. Now I want this row to become the header for my columns. So I've got a button up here, Use First Row as Headers. And then I need to get rid of this blank row here. So Remove Row, Remove Top Row, number of rows one. Now you'll notice down the side here is actually listing all the steps in my query editor. So I can always delete a step if I've got it wrong, or I can change a step by clicking on this little settings button. Now that's pretty good for the first statement, but you'll notice that those three rows still appear at the top of the other statements. Now how do I get rid of those? Well, first step would be to change the data type for this column. This column contains date, so I'm going to change the data type to date. And that causes an error wherever there isn't a date in that column. So what I can do is now remove errors. And then I can filter out the null values. Next, I'm going to get rid of these columns. And I can do things like apply currency format to these other columns. 
and I could get rid of this column altogether. And then I'd probably give the query a name. So I'll call this all statements. And then I'm ready to just load it into Excel. So I click on this button up here, top left. So it's created a new sheet called all statements. And if I look through this, it's combined or appended all of the statements together in one sheet. Okay, so that's my appending example. Hopefully that's useful. Now let's move on to the merging example. So here I've got three sheets and I want to combine the columns together into one table. Now I've already put these data sets in tables. So the first one's called F transactions. This one's called D products and this one's called employee. So the next step is to create a query for each of these tables. So I go to data, I'll click on this button from table range, and then I'll go to close and load, close and load two, and only create connection. So you'll see over here in my queries and connection pane, that I have my first query. Then I go to the next table and I do the same thing. Click somewhere in the table from table range, close and load, close and load two, only create connection. So again, I've got another query over here in the queries and connections pane. So I've just got to do the same for the third table. Only create connection. So I've got my three queries now for the three tables in my data. So I'm gonna start by right clicking on the transactions query, and I'm gonna to go to merge. What I want to do is I want to merge this table with the products table. Now the column that links these two tables is the product ID column. So I'm gonna select the product ID column in the transactions table, and also select the product ID column in the products table. So I'm now gonna click on okay, now you'll see over here, I've got a D products column. What I'm gonna do is click on this expand button and I've got to select which columns within the products table I want to merge with the transactions table. So I want brand, description, and unit price. And I'm going to untick this option, use original column name as prefix. So you can see now it's nicely merged those three columns with the transaction data. So now I want to merge this data with the employee table. So I go up to merge queries here, click on the little drop down, and I'm gonna click on merge queries. I'm gonna select the employee table, and this time I'm going to select the sales rep ID column in both of these tables. Click on okay. And then I'm gonna expand the employee column and select which columns I want to merge with this data. So I want name, position, and salary. Click on OK. So now I've merged the columns from all three tables. Now there may be some transformations I want to do. For example, over here you can see these dates are in the form year, month, and day. It'd be nice to show them as proper dates. At the moment, they're just stored as numeric values. So if I go to this button here, and the first thing I'd do is I'd change the column to a text column, and then I'd change it to date. And you always add a new step if you're gonna do this. Now they're proper dates. So over in the unit price column, I might change this to currency, and also the salary, I think I'll change to currency. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm gonna call this query all data and then I'm gonna close and load it to Excel. I'll click on this button top left. So now you can see all the data is merged together in one table. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.